My name is Nicole Yanni, Youth Indigenous Wellness Consultant for Children's Hospital. I am a part of the Indigenous Health Team. I have a Master of Social Work and I'm a registered social worker. I am from Fishing Lake First Nation. I am Soto. So coming all the way from Treaty 4, which is quite a far ways from home. I have three children, one wild dog, and my husband who we've been together since we were kids. I am thankful and honored to be a part of this work. It has been a positive experience in my life. There's been moments of joy, moments of pain, moments of struggle, moments of happiness, and I get to be a part of that healing journey with the families that come into the hospital to seek health care. As a youth in high school, we had an Indigenous counselor. She was a positive role model for me, and I realized at a young age how important it is to have someone who shares that lived experience and who can bring culture into care. That is what I get to do here at the hospital. I am able to bring a traditional lens to a Western approach to healthcare. And so that I think resonates with what I've always wanted to do in my life, which is to work with indigenous populations as an indigenous person. All of this cheering from the background really helps me to do the work that I need to do, which is to support the youth. When a family comes to the hospital and they're experiencing a time of distress and worry for their child and they're displaced from their homes and brought all the way to London because we are in a large catchment area so we have quite a lot of Indigenous um, communities that are coming to this hospital and so when they're faced with these challenges just having someone who you can resonate with really kind of softens the moment and, and it creates a space of safety and it allows that person to connect. It really opens the door to create a safe relationship um, between myself and the hospital and for the families. And I'll offer medicines to the families if that is something they want to bring into our meetings. I also bring beading, books, dream catchers, and ribbon skirt making. And for the kids, I'll bring in uh, fidget toys and um, different types of animals that really kind of speak to the kids. And they're so excited to be able to have something to do while we talk about things that might be a little bit harder to talk about. These coping tools are the start of a therapeutic relationship and essential to building uh, cultural safety. There's been quite a few experiences that have really um, left an impression on my heart um, and on my spirit. Just thinking of some of the youth who I, I meet with on a one-to-one -one basis and, and coming into their unit and seeing them waiting at their door waiting for me. I've had times where I'm grieving with family members and those have been hard, but those have been also very rewarding. There's been times where I can help a child who is receiving chemo treatments and I can hold their hand and be a comfort to their family. So I feel really grateful that I'm able to be part of this work and to hear the feedback from the families that they are excited that there's an Indigenous focused support program within Children's Hospital and that culture is being considered into their healthcare experience. I think when we invest in the, the healing of a child, we, we heal seven generations back and seven generations forward. So when we heal that child, we heal a part of their family, part of their community, and their nation. And so it really is a huge stepping stone for, for that person. It creates such a rippling effect. And there is so much um, that can come from just a small donation. And all these little things that add up to make a huge difference in someone's life. Thank you CCHF for this recognition and support um, for this program that we're doing here at Children's Hospital. Uh, it is really meaningful to receive this award and an honor. And thank you to all the donors that supported this program.